As I mentioned before, the evolution of catalytic cracking processes is really a good example of process engineering or uh, reactor design to maximize the thermal efficiency of a process. Uh, the, uh, the first cat cracking process was a batch process introduced in 1915, the McAfee process, where um, a Lewis acid like aluminum chloride was used in the batch uh, reactor system. But for commercial operation, you would need a flow reactor system. So Hodri cat cracking was the first commercial continuous process introduced in 1936. The process used the natural alumina silica solids particles as, as catalysts. And uh, in the process, we're going to look at a configuration that has three reactors in parallel. These are fixed bed reactors, uh, essentially uh, filled with the alumina silica pellets, packed with the alumina silica pellets as catalysts. So the gas oil feed is heated in a furnace, in a fired furnace, to uh, 800 degrees Fahrenheit. And the feed is fed from the bottom of this packed bed to go through cracking on catalyst surfaces. And the products are fed to a fractionator. In the fractionator, the products uh, are separated into gas and gasoline and LCO, light cycle oil, as the major products from cat cracking. As the uh, cracking goes on, the catalysts are deactivated by coke buildup. And this happens uh, pretty fast, within uh, 10 minutes of the introduction of the feed into the, the reactor. Now, since this is an endothermic reaction, you would also uh, imagine, or you could visualize, that uh, the temperature will go down as the feed moves from uh, the the bottom to the top of the reactor so cracking isn't really uh, very homogeneous because of this decreasing temperature now once the catalysts are deactivated within 10 minutes all coked up you bring in steam uh, to uh, strip the liquids somewhat heavy liquids that are sticking on to the catalyst surfaces to remove them into uh, the fractionator and some of this will end up as heavy oil once this operation is finished within about five minutes then you bring in hot air to uh, burn off the uh, the coke to reactivate the catalyst but to continue this cracking process in the uh, in the meantime while you are stripping the uh, heavier products and the uh, reactivating the catalyst by burning the coke you need to switch the feed to another reactor so that is the second in the series so uh, you have a continuous feed and continuous production through the system using the swing reactor uh, configuration as we refer to uh, the same thing happens in the second reactor the uh, the catalyst is deactivated within 10 minutes so you bring in the steam to uh, strip the heavier products and while you're doing that obviously and then later on burning off the coke you should switch uh, the feed to another reactor that would be the third reactor in the series and the products are all sent to a fractionator so the by the time the uh, third reactor is uh, coked up you can now switch the feed back to the first reactor. You will have enough time to uh, steam strip and, and coke or decoke the first reactor, having these uh, additional two reactors in the series. So that's essentially the cycle in the Hodri cat cracking uh, reaction to enable a continuous flow system while the reactors are taken out of uh, service for uh, decoking operations. You see the problem here, the, uh, the endothermic reaction of cracking is decoupled really from the exothermic reaction of burning of the coke. So for that reason, the thermal efficiency of Hodri cat cracking is not, uh, is not very high and it certainly needs to be improved.